We're a local, regional-based architecture firm, but what we also know how to do and are striving to do at our core is pursue innovation in construction. And the reason for that is that it's the hardest thing to do, and the construction industry is not known for it. Meet a couple of Lafayette, Indiana businessmen whose proud boast is that their organization erects one out of every 48 new homes being put up in the entire country. Modular construction is not new. Following the, the Second World War, where there was a lot of housing shortages, there was a push to, to use prefab and modular as a way of looking at the, the housing stock that was in need of development and, and using uh, modular and prefab as a way of delivering this. But, Ultimately, that movement failed, and I think in many ways it failed because of sort of the stigmatized view that it was cheap and poor quality construction. And what we're seeing in this new sort of wave of modular construction is a new approach. You know, we're able to use technologies that are able to drive costs down, and, and at the end of the day, we don't have to make sacrifices that had to be made during that first movement. I always go back to school portables, which is actually, from an application standpoint, one of the best examples of modular in terms of its flexibility, versatility, mobility. And yet, for all of us that, you know, maybe grew up in school spending a lot of time in poor rules, I wouldn't necessarily call them great environments for spending time. Our pilot project was aimed at, let's prefabricate through modular construction a single unit that we can put in essentially the backyard of a low-rise property and then use that as a prototype for itself for accessible dwelling units in low-rise properties, but also as a prototype for stackable multi-res applications. So we knew that because of our experience in conventional construction, no one was ever gonna go for doing something like modular or prefabrication without any case study or reference or pilot project without seeing it first. We needed a tangible project, pilot project that we could use. Because of the scalability component to modular construction where literally the entire premise from a business standpoint is to achieve economies of scale, we're able to truly add a lot of housing capital to the market to be able to provide affordable solutions. I think ultimately the lessons that we learned through this project are going to be able to help us build and develop sustainable solutions going forward to address really important needs in our society. Everyone that talks to us about modular and our experience on modular wants to know, is it cheaper than conventional? And truth be told, we're in the process now of analyzing that. But all signs are pointing to it being far superior, not just on its ability to be higher quality, but also the time savings will create dramatic financial benefits to construction. A frame, a skeleton, a chassis, whatever you want to call it, can essentially be clad and fit out in any variety of ways, meaning that it can be fit out appropriately for an affordable housing project or a high-end you know, luxury type of a, a residential environment. So that creates opportunity and that creates flexibility and the ability to buffer stigma. If the project at 710 Frederick is the first generation, we're now gonna be looking to build on that experience and all the knowledge we learned to come up with more efficient and effective means of applying that. And the reason is for us, in terms of addressing the housing crisis, as, as many would call it, where people need places to live and we need to provide that for them. By providing attractive and versatile and adaptable solutions, we can provide better integration of housing in our society so that affordable housing is no longer stigmatized, that we're able to um, provide the economies of scale that our market's demanding, but doing it in a way that's not sacrificing what's important for, for ultimately the end users of these units, which is having a space that's beautiful to live in, that works for them and that serves them rather than the other way around. Modular housing is now important and will only become more important. We're starting to see it in remote communities that don't have the trades and don't have the means of construction and those types of concerns are only going to become more prevalent. 
We also have a looming housing crisis that some would argue is the tip of the iceberg. And speedy, efficient solutions to providing built form in our communities is, is going to be very important. I don't know if it's worthwhile noting that in the short time, in the last number of months that we've been working on this project and finishing this project, you've had coronavirus or COVID-19 and modular hospitals being constructed on days or weeks notice, which people find amazing. The only way you can do those sorts of initiatives is with some degree of prefabrication and, and modular. Thank you.